Casey, thank you so much for joining us today on Hashtag Wildlife Wednesday. I'm happy to be here. So tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you wind up here at Discovery Park of America? Well, I am the Aquarium and Wildlife Director here, um, but I'm originally from East Tennessee. I moved to Murfreesboro to go to school at Middle Tennessee State University, where I got my bachelor's degree in animal biology. After that, I actually got on with Tennessee State Parks as a seasonal interpretive ranger. I met one of our Tennessee archaeologists there who was actually working on a project for Discovery Park at the time. And I was able to come see the building and meet Mr. Kirkland. And I immediately fell in love with the mission and actually then found out that there was going to be live animals here in a 20,000 gallon aquarium. Um, so I reached out to our former CEO, Jim Rippey, and was able to join the team. That's awesome. What an incredible journey. So have you always loved animals? What got you into, when did you know that animals were going to be a part of your life? There was never one of those aha moments for me. Um, being from East Tennessee, my family and I have always spent a lot of time outside and in nature. So I don't think it was a question of if I wanted to work with animals. It was just a matter of in what capacity. you're holding in your hands is this does this happen to be one of your favorite animals on display here at the park yes actually Ella is a speckled king snake and she is probably my absolute favorite that we have here um, she's extremely docile but as you can see she's also very inquisitive and curious one really um, one really neat fact about speckled king snakes and king snakes in general is they have a specialized digestive enzymes that actually allow them to eat venomous snakes. So if you ever see these guys in your backyard, they're good to keep around. Very nice. And so when the park does reopen, can guests see Ella on display? You can. She is actually up my sleeve at the moment. <laughs> but she is actually in our regional gallery. Um, she, along with our northern pine snake, our eastern milk snake, and a rat snake. And I know that, um, that as a wildlife director, you have to come up here, even though the park is closed, to feed the animals. So what, when do you feed Ella? Um, so our snakes get fed every Monday afternoon, and our guests will actually be able to see this when we do reopen up. Um, right now it's at 3 o'clock. What do they eat? So we feed them frozen mice um, that we warm up under heat lamps for them. But oh, I bet it's a delicious meal for them. <laughs> so if somebody wants to pursue a career as a wildlife director or just um, in wildlife in general, what advice would you give them? Take on as many internships as you possibly can or even just volunteer work. There are so many different areas that you can go into even just in the animal field. If you want to be a herpetologist or an ichthyologist, um, just do as many as you can and see what you actually enjoy doing. Well, thank you. And I have one last question for yeah. you. What is your favorite thing about working at Discovery Park of America? You know, I've been here for almost seven years now, and I'm still learning and discovering new things here pretty much every day. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Casey, for joining us for Wildlife Wednesday. Is there anything else you'd like to tell our followers? Um, well, if you're interested in more Wildlife Wednesday videos, um, be sure to tune in next week. Perfect. Thank you, Casey. Thanks, Katie.